like snow tracks. Wow, what is this place? said Jack. Maybe it's an art gallery, said Annie. Mm, I don't think so. It's too hard to get to. He read about the cave paintings. These Ice Age beasts were painted 25,000 years ago. Cro-Magnums painted pictures of animals they hunted. They may have believed the paintings would give them power over the animals. Wow, look at this, said Annie. And she pointed to a painting further down the wall. It showed a figure of humans, human arms and legs, reindeer antlers, and an owl face. It seemed to be holding a flute. Jack looked at the book again. He found the picture of the figure in red. Cavemen may have been led by a sorcerer, uh, a master of the animals. He may have worn reindeer antlers so he could run like a reindeer and owl masks so he can see like an owl. Oh. What is it? said Annie. The master of animals, said Jack. He's a sorcerer. Oh, wow, breathed Annie. That's it. That's what? That's what you, that's who we have to find. Well, why? Maybe he's a friend of Morgan, said Annie. Jack nodded slowly. Maybe, he said. Let's go find him, said Annie. They went back through the tunnel into the first cave. We better put our lamps back, said Jack. He and Annie blew out their lamps and they placed them back by the fire. Jack's backpack was on the floor next to the skins. He put the Ice Age book back onto it. How's Peanut, said Annie. Jack looked inside his pack. She's not here, he said. Oh no, said Annie. She must have crawled out when we were looking at the paintings. Peanut! Jack called, Peanut! called Annie. Annie slowly walked around the cave, looking through the shadows. Jack peered around the fire and under each of the furry skins. Jack, come here, said Annie. She was standing near the entrance of the cave. The snow had stopped falling. In the snow were tiny tracks.